Hey guys, Faircraft here, and I'm pretty excited because I got a package in the mail from Square Enix, and it is the final of the Play Arts Kai figures. That way I can get caught up to what came out so far. But in here is um, Sonan Kusakube. So, I'll just go ahead and get him out of the box. Let me sit y'all down here. We're going to need my trusty blade. Got our packing slip. A whole lot of paper. I see him in there. Brown paper. Get the figure up. He's kind of stuck in the box, so give me a few. He's jammed in there. Oh, Lord of mercy. That was hard to get out. Okay. Here is the Sonon figure now. He's inside of the bubble wrap, so let me get my... I don't want to fight with no tape. Let me get my blade. Let's see. The tape's right here. This is a very, very, very short blade. Yeah, I cut it. <laughs> Did a little bit of damage to the bubble wrap, but that don't matter. Well, only after what's in the bubble wrap. There he is. Sonan Kusakube. Here's the front of his box. Here's one side of his box. Here's the other side of his box. Here is the top of his box. And then we'll go to the bottom. There's the bottom of his box. And if I can get it here, it's going to be kind of hard to do. Here's his, uh, there's his release date. And then here's the other side of his box. And then I'll go ahead and I'll set him down. Here's the uh, the front of him. There's the sticker of authenticity. And then when we open him up. Set you here. When we open him up. There he is in the display window. And over here if you want to read about Sonon. There's a picture of Sonon. And here is all of his dialogue that you can read about him. I'll try my best to get this in camera. But there is um, his dialogue right there. Stupid glare. Hey, I'm in here. Let me whoop, drop the dangerous blade in the floor. Let me turn off this light. Try to get that glare out. There we go. And then here he is. So, got that done. Let me just... Turn this light back on so we can get some lighting. Sit y'all here. And then I'll go ahead and get Sonon's box open. But first I gotta find the dangerous blade that fell in the floor. Found it. So now we gotta look for the seal. There it is. Get my blade right here. Go over that tape sticker. Got it. And then I'll work on getting Sonon open. I just now realized one thing too I forgot. 
I went over all the other... We'll go one more thing. I did not go over the back of the box. I don't know what I was thinking. There's the back of the box. And it says, collect them all. Collect all the figures in this series, which I'm working on doing. Because, I mean, you can see my collection over there. Of all the ones that I've collected so far. I'll be doing a uh, a video later of the update on uh, all my Playworks Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake figure collection. So I'll be doing that later. I just won't be able to do it right now because I just ain't got the time for it right now. But here is Sonon in the clamshell packaging and all of his little goodies. And he's also got like a double layer of uh, packing, just like the other ones do. And right there is his stand. Same player, it's Kai's stand. Now I'm going to work on getting this plastic off of Sonon. So we can get to Sonon and see Sonon. Taking my time getting this plastic off because I mean I paid about I paid hundred and eighty five dollars for this figure almost two hundred but anyway there we go we are now in the packing that has sewn on so the first thing we're going to do is go over his hands which I'm seeing that there's a uh, thing here on his hand like a little speck of a spot you see it right there on his pointer finger I'm hoping instead of paint loss, that's, you know, like I showed you before, the paint that's just got onto the thing and you just scrape it off. But, we'll see. Yeah, I think when luck, you can see it right there. Taking my blade, doing that trick that I showed you all before. Going gently over it. And you can see there. It's slowly going away. Get this up to my face. So I can see what I'm doing. I'm getting it. This is basically from when it was in the factory. Some people weren't paying attention to what they were doing when they made it. And they got some uh, paint splatter on his finger. But luckily, most of the times when you get a paint, a paint splatter like this, you can just take a very fine, sharp blade, take your time over it. And then once you take your time over it, you can see there, it was on this one. You can see there, the paint splatter is gone. Just take your very fine blade and slowly go over it. But yeah, the paint splatter is gone. But here's all the detail in the hands. Here's the other side of his gloves where they're red. All those little um, knuckle paddings. Not sure what they're called. But there's the hands. Now his main accessory is a cool one. Which I know this thing goes together and then comes back apart. To get it on his back. But um... The first piece is a, um, the staff with a, a bell looking icon at the top of it. And it's on a keychain. The keychain kind of reminds me of Reno's, um, 
baton Reno's beating stick that has a keychain also hanging from it to make the strap dangle. That's what it reminds me of. But I'm also going to show you when I get in here and get some zooming. Look at the detail in this beating stick. Look at all those symbols carved in there. And it's even got uh, symbols carved into the uh, the little bell that hangs from Sonon's staff. I mean, you can see there all that little detail. And, uh, yeah, paying 185 for me, I de it was definitely worth the purchase. And then moving down the beaten stick, when we get to here, here's all that detail you saw from the game. You can see there's all that little detail that's in it. Which I see there, I see his straps wrapped around the silver. Uh, they should have painted that red. Because, um, give me a few seconds here. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I want to look. And again, if you all look, he's got a different staff. I got some, uh, screenshots saved up of Sonon. I don't have the, um, the Intergrade game. I wish I did, because, uh, I don't own a PlayStation 5. Too expensive for me right now. Not to mention, they're pretty hard to get a hold of. So, yeah, um, here's the one that I got from somebody's, uh, gameplay, where well, I took a screenshot of it. Let me tilt you up here. Uh, I think that's a different staff. Yeah, that's a different staff. It doesn't match what I got here. Yeah, that is a different staff he's wearing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because, yeah, that kind of, uh, that looks like that almost matches, though. Did they just forget to paint the material? Because, uh, those are material slots right there, I think. They just didn't paint the material. That is the same staff. Yeah, we're looking at the same staff. So, okay, the, the silver is correct, but they just didn't paint your material. That may be something that I'll be down for doing later. I may end up painting my materia. Because you can see he's got materia in that weapon. And from the looks of it, he's holding two purples. But anyway, uh, we get down to the end of the staff. And we have a hollowed out section. Which is where the rest of the staff will connect. But before I do that, I'll show you the rest of the staff. So, the rest of your staff is this piece right here. And you can see all the detail in that. All that, um, that ribbon wrapped around it. That red ribbon. You can see some, like, little scale materials in there. That's, like, scales. Quit losing phone. Or, uh, quit losing phone. <laughs> quit losing focus phone. Ugh. And I'll flip it around. This way on the other side. And then you can see there, all that dragon scale detail is on that side too. And then you also got some details going in there. You go down to there. Then you go to the long uh, metal pole. And then at the end, you have this what looks like a, a, a sack. It looks like a sack at the end of his um, staff. And then at the bottom, it's also got some detail. So you get pretty good detail with this thing. And then what you do is, um, this part is metal. That stem sticking out, that's an actual metal stem. So what you do is you take these two staff parts. And then you basically slowly start pushing them together. Which, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, it ain't the easiest thing to do. Okay. Now, let me get you back down here and I'll zoom you out. And then once you push those together, you have Sonon's complete beaten stick. Or staff. 
Whatever this thing is called. <laughs> but you got that. So that's Sonun's weapon. And all the detail that's in it. And now next we want to go over Sonon himself. Feels like he's got some uh, little loose joints, but not too bad. Let me get his plastic out of the way. Uh, speaking of plastic, you all know the drill. <laughs> what do they put on the figures? Plastic. Lots and lots of plastic. So let's see here. Yeah, he's got some loose joints in this one. Even though when he's, you know, a brand new figure. Get his hands is situated here. Okay, Sonon, how do we get your plastic off? Please just be tucked under your coat. Which I think it is. Okay, that one was just tucked under his coat around him. That one's good. What about these right here in his shoulders? Are they just tucked under his, um... Yeah, they're just tucked under his paddings, his little guards on his shoulders. And then right here, pull that out. And is that all your plastic that I see of? I don't think I see no more plastic. Let's put your foot down there a bit if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty then. So now we have Sonon in the collection, but let me look at him. How do I get his arm, his leg back the way it's supposed to be? Yeah, oh boy. What did they do there? Hang on a minute here, I'm looking at something. Good grief, you ain't gonna stand the uh, level at all. Did they not get your leg all the way up on there? It looks like they didn't. You can see it right there. God, I hope he ain't no defect. Took me forever to wait on this guy. But that is loose. And I can see up in there where the joint is. So, yeah, I think we got a defect. That leg's not pushed all the way up in there. Whoever put this together didn't know what they were doing. Let me look. No, it's on there. It's on the... It's on the hinge. I mean, you can see there it's on the ball joint in the leg, so... Maybe that's just the way mine came. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the hinge in there. I like to figure out a way to get this leg to turn around, so. But this joint right here seems to be stuck as always. So let me try. Ow! Hang on, man. Okay, I got it to turn. It is a tough turn, but I got it to turn. There. I got that thing to twist around to match his uh, ruffles in his pants. But yeah, this uh, this leg thing, man. There's just something not quite right about that. I mean, you can see there, that thing is just too far, too far down from the other. I may have to contact Square Enix about this. Unfortunately, because, I mean, th you can tell th this is a defect. Which sucks. It's going to suck waiting on another Sonon for a replacement. But I'll try to see if I can work with him. But you can tell here at the bottom, 
his feet are going to be uneven. See? And that is forever going to show. Unless I can somehow pull the plastic of the pants down. But I don't think I can. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go over his articulation. But first for the articulation, we're going to look at the, uh, the, uh, the sculpt in Sonon's face. Hopefully, that leg thing is okay, though. I'm really worried about that. Just give me a few seconds here. Let me wipe off the camera lens. Make sure there's nothing blocking this out. Get you zoomed in a bit closer. Okay. There is Sonon's face. So, this is the face right here. And then when you look at the TV's face. Of course, you know, he's got a different expression. Give me a few seconds here. Let me turn off this light. This light is just causing too much glare. And now we're too dark. That going it. But you can see there. He looks pretty close. Ugh, I'm I'm sorry, I can't hold the phone and focus at the same time. Let me let me set this down. Zoom you out a bit. Get it where you can see his head. And this dumb light back on. Uh, we got a glare now. That's splendid. Anyway, let me see here. Get him right here. Then I'm gonna have to focus on the figure to the the other one. There's the figure. There's the other one. Let me try to see if I can find a different picture. Because I got some pictures of Sonon. Okay, there's one of him from the side. And if we look at Sonon's profile from about that angle. Yeah, you can tell that um, he looks pretty close. He looks kind of like they gave him that face right there. Where he's like all confused. Instead of, you know, his regular serious face. Looks like they gave him the confused face. And then here is, um, his, uh, here's his serious face when he first met Yuffie. And he introduced himself. So you see him there, and then here is him right there. So yeah, they've done a pretty good job. You can definitely tell it's sewn on. But anyway, articulation-wise now. So the head on Sonon, just like any other player, it's Kai. It can look to that, to the, about that much to the side. You can probably get it to go a little bit more, but it's got some tension in my head. Okay, there we go. You can get it to go about that far. And then you can get it to go around the other way, about that far. Look at that one. I'm starting to play around and posing his head and stuff like that. And now we're getting some good uh, head profile pictures. <laughs> Go figure. And um, he can look up to about... That's as much as I can get him to look up. Because back here, his hair is touching... The hair on his neck is touching the, the neck itself. He can look down pretty far so yeah this is a uh, very good figure to get a hold of just minus you know with my uh, my ordeal the little leg thing he can uh, do the head tilt about that much of a head tilt he can head tilt that way so that's all in the head. There, uh, it looks like the neck articulation is not here, unless this is a soft piece of rubber plastic. 
Wait, so let me see what you hate of everybody. It is. See there? It's the soft rubber plastic, so there could be some articulation in the neck. So, let me see if I can find it in there. There is some articulation in the neck, but the, the rubber plastic is so stiff that it really doesn't work for it. But it is in there. It's just very well hidden. Going to his um his shoulders over here. He can basically do like any other figure. He can put his arm up. His arm will only go go up to about that far though, because you will be hindered by these um shoulder guards. And then going backward. His arm can go backwards about that far due to the shoulder guard again. Going this way and then trying to pull his arm up, which we're getting stuck. So I'm not going to try to force this until I figure out what is going on here. Because I don't want to break his arm off. Okay, so how were you made there, buddy? Okay, I'm getting it slowly. I think it's where it's new. What was that? Come back here. Something fell out of his arm. I'm looking. I can't get a hold of it. What is that? Paper? Ugh. I ain't gonna try to pick it up. I'm just gonna zoom it in and show you. It's right here. That fell out of his arm, and I think that's either paper or that looks like paint. Like dried up paint and chips, so I'm thinking it's paint. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think it might be paint that came out of the joint. I don't know. <laughs> you can see there underneath his arm, though. You can see his red shirt through there. But yeah, um, you can see he's he's got a thing, but I think that's the limit. Yeah, it can go up a little bit more. That's about it. That's the limit of how far Sonon's arm can lift. You can see right there. That's as far as we're going. You can see what's plugged into his body. It's like a it's like a peg that connects into the the body from the shoulder area. So. That's as far as, um, that's going. But, um, does he ha He does. He's got the, the butterfly joints. And, um, right in here, I'm going to pull the arm up right here and then turn it. We should have some, uh, uh swivel up in the bicep. Because they usually do put them there. Yeah. It's just a little bit tight. But you can see there. We got swivel in the bicep. We have double jointed elbows, which on Sonon, the double jointed elbows only go about that far because his um, muscle on his arm will touch his sleeve there. So the double joint doesn't really work here unless we can maneuver it. Let's try to maneuver it. So let's try to pull this down. We'll try to push the rest of the double joint up first. It pushed up a bit, but not much. And then, yeah, it still does about the same. Okay, so, double joint really doesn't work good on Sonon. So, and we got hinges in the wrist. We also have swivels in the wrist. So... That's all the articulation in Sonon's arms, because both arms are the same. Under Sonon's jacket. Let me look under here, see what we got going on. Okay, it looks like we have a, um, a ball joint in his chest. And there could be a ball joint in his hips. But I'm not going to chance that because, you know, the, the leg thing. But I'll try to do a little bit. So, let me grab him here. So, he can tilt down with his 
um, ball joint in his uh, chest about that much. He can tilt down his ball joint in his chest about that much. Grab him right here. That way I'm holding the body part. And um, he can tilt up about... Let's see. On mine, he can tilt up about that much. Does he have any rockage in the the ball joint? Okay. He's got rockage, so he can rock that way. And the other way. It's a bit stiff, but he can rock that way. So we got there, and um, down inside of there, I really can't tell. No, I can't tell. There's too much pants. But um, he does have swivels in the uh, the waist area. Cool thing about Sonon too is um, these little uh, these little shoestring laces. They are like a hard, rubbery plastic. They can actually be maneuvered, but I'd be careful with those because you don't want to break them off. And then you saw earlier... Let me get your arm out of the way there, buddy. You saw earlier when I was playing with this thing, the, the leg, that it can do like any other player. It's kayak. It can go, you know, in and out. This one, mine's got that problem. He can kick up to about that far and um he does have swivels in the thighs but that is very hard to maneuver and he does have the great double jointed knees so we have the double jointed knees and so on so we'll go ahead and put his leg back down <laughs> it really gets on my nerves when i see that joint just sticking out like that Oh, look at that. If it goes up too high, the pants will actually fall back down over top of it. Okay, so that hides it. Okay, so maybe uh, we don't have that bad of a defect. <laughs> Going to the socks and the uh, the shoes. Um, It looks like there could be a swivel right here at the top where his socks meets his pants. But I'll try it and see. And no, there's not. It's just the way it looks. So what you got going on down here, you have a ball joint in the shoe. You're going to have, you know, swivels. You're going to have them. You're also going to have your uh, toe points. So yeah, you got your toe points. So yeah, um... Really great articulation in Sonon. 